Welcome to episode 1191 of Love Serve Care. Today's episode, I want to talk to you. And you out there are going to be listening, but this is directed toward one person in particular. So I haven't done an episode like this up to this point. Maybe I have, but I don't remember consciously doing this. But this is a conversation directly from me to my coach, a local Paterai. And I just want to share with him right you're gonna be birds (laughs) it flies on the wall right but what i want to share with you i'm talking to loke now i'm gonna share with you is my appreciation my gratitude for you being a champion in my life for someone elevating me celebrating me challenging me to be greater than i even believe i could be and seeing what's possible for me even before i can and what's interesting with our dynamic our relationship is you being a champion for me you actually met me on one of the greatest defeat days of my life (laughs) so we're going to rewind back to november 2018 when i was at my first event working for this for this team of, of coaches and i got a call during the middle of the the setup day rehearsal day whatever you want to call it before the actual event happened that my daughter was involved in a car accident and the driver of her daycare van you know, passed away instantly as a result of the other person driving under the influence of opiates. And it was one of the worst experiences of my life as I had this picture in my head of my daughter potentially hurt, dead, and me being in Washington, D.C., hundreds of miles away, powerless, quote unquote, to do anything about it. Now, I share all of that because we didn't really get a chance to connect or or meet then, right? I was in my headspace and I had to lock in or I chose to lock in rather than go home or anything like that. I wanted to finish the job and it was easier to stay rather than face the fear and I share all that because you're someone who inspires me to keep facing fear, to keep moving forward even when I may not even want to. And that's opened up this new door and I'm not quite ready to reveal it yet to the world. We talked about it, we've shared and I got an opportunity to share that with our group in in Vancouver. And as I'm ruminating about this manifesto, as I'm creating that, know that it's, it's on its way and you are instrumental in birth in that. So I appreciate you. I thank you. I love you. And for you who is listening out there, remember, you are born to live your life in abundance. You're the master of your future. You control your freedom. And you have complete dominance of your thoughts, your emotions, and your habits. Take care. God bless. Stay blessed.